guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today as it is christmas eve today so i was thinking of well i think it's since past week but i never just got around to it i was gonna make a you look so um hope you guys are fine and having a good time <laughs> and uh i just wanted to say that um I don't, uh, the tin I have for the U log is uh, normally they say use a Swiss roll tin. So I'm just, I just, this is just the biggest tin I had <laughs> in the, at home. So I didn't really go out there looking for a Swiss roll tin. But I'm sure you can just use any flat tin. So um, for the cake, you're going to need six large eggs. Which I've got here but we, I'm going to separate these the yolk from the white uh, 65 grams of plain flour which is here sorry and 30 grams of cocoa and I'm gonna need 150 grams of caster sugar now I didn't have caster sugar I actually forgot to get it so I'm just using granulated hopefully it'll be fine a uh, quarter teaspoon of salt and this butter, I'm just gonna normally like I run out of cooking spray as well. So normally I just spray the bottom of the tin on the top, but I'm just gonna use the butter. I just melted some butter down. I didn't have cooking spray, I ran out. So let's just move these out of the way for now. And so I'm just gonna I'm just going to do the bottom first. This tin, this actually came in my own. <laughs> and I used it, so I, sometimes I use it to make brownies or... Um, no, I also use it for... Um, ah, um, what's it called? Chocolate concrete cake? Sometimes I used to use it a lot for that. So I've got butter everywhere now. Well, butter. I use, this is what we used to do, and I probably our parents used to do as well before cooking spray came. So <laughs> I used the old method today. I'm just gonna push this down. And I'm gonna do the same on the top. I made this last year. I don't know where that tin's gone. I can't find it. This is a bit high, but that one was a bit low. It's easier for the cake to come out. Because you have to get the cake out warm. So I can roll it so it like keeps the shape and then let it cool down rolled in a tea towel but I'll show you that what you need to do. So this is well greased I think. Plus this recipe doesn't have oil or butter in it so but it's a very light sponge because I'm gonna actually beat the eggs then like really fluffy and I'm gonna be egg white so this bit is done and uh, don't forget to preheat your oven twice so it get a bowl and just move the tray out the way <laughs> do you like my Christmassy bowl guys I got this from Asda. It's plastic, but I kind of like this. It's quite festive. So, um, pre your oven to 180 degrees. And um, now in this bowl, I'm going to mix together flour, cocoa, and salt. So, the flour oh I 
think we should see if this is a <laughs> I just got the cereal for part of the cereal. The best to always save. So the flour and the cocoa. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. These are my spoons. I got these from my as well. These are a pound. Quite cute. And I got a measuring Because the other ones the kids keep punching, I don't know So I'm just gonna save this. I'm just gonna give this a mix. aside for now so guys I've um, separated the eggs from the whites and I'm just gonna beat the eggs so the sugar that I had from the start 150 grams I've taken 100 grams at the same sugar which I'm gonna use with the eggs and I've left the 50 to use with the egg whites so first I'm gonna beat these eggs yolks Eggs. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna beat them first. I'm gonna gradually add sugar As you can see, the eggs and the sugar, they've got light, so that's why you want light and fluffy, light in colour as well. So guys, uh, the eggs are done, so I'm just going to add in the flour that I did earlier, well mixed. I'm just gonna mix this in or beat it in. <laughs> This mixture is going to be thick now, so it'll go like, when I add the egg whites, it'll go nice up close. So I'm just going to mix this in. Mm. 
So guys, I've uh, we got the egg white. I'm just gonna pour, I'm just gonna use a stand mixer because this is easier. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. And uh, I'm just gonna whisk it till it goes soft piece. Guys, it's gone like a bit into soft peak, so I'm gonna gradually add sugar, the remaining sugar to it. The sugar went a bit brown because when I measured the ingredients, I did the cocoa first. I was supposed to do the sugar first. Guys, I'm using granulate sugar. I use caster sugar because I haven't. I thought I did. But when I looked at the conservative, the little one, I couldn't be bothered to go around the road to get some. So this is granulate. It will hopefully be alright. It looks fun. So we're just gonna wait till this goes to stiff peaks. Basically, you can put it over your head and it won't fall on there. <laughs> I'm not gonna try that though, just in case. Because I got no eggs left on that. <laughs> I do have eggs, but they're not large. <laughs> Remember, I'm just gonna put it up a bit. On the other side. On the other side. Let's check. Oh, this? It's because the buttons are on the other side. <laughs> nah, not. See, when you dip it in, it should be stiff. It's not stiff. Uh, probably three, four minutes. So guys, this is done now. It's gone stiff. So I'm just gonna move the machine out of the way. So I'm just gonna add this in two batches into the previous mixture I made. Mm. 
this cake doesn't take long to bake it takes about 10 minutes maximum 12 It's gonna take a while, guys, but it's a bit thick because you don't want to knock all that air out that we just created with the eggs. So I'm just gonna slowly cut and it's like clouds. <laughs> and plus, this will lighten up the mixture as well. Because it's quite stiff at the moment. Because there's no egg, in, I'm sorry, not egg, <laughs> there's no butter in here. We don't want, we don't want this to rise because it's what a Swiss roll do you need to make. It's like a Swiss roll. So you just turn, cut through. It looks like chocolate mousse. I'm supposed to be on a diet, but I started a diet on two days ago. Might just, <laughs> might just have a salad. I'm on that diet, but I'm just watching what I eat. Because in lockdown, it was a bit too rubbish. The people, so many people lost away in lockdown, I gained. Sitting at home, being bored, <laughs> putting anything in my mouth. Especially in the evening when the kids go to bed. <laughs> See, I watch Jelly and eat snacks. So I've cut that out. It's been two days. I've been running my husband. Not running, jogging, because he can't run. <laughs> he thinks he can. <laughs> you have to do it for your own health and you not going any younger. Let me tell you five. I might do three batches because <laughs> my bowl is a bit small. So I just gotta make sure the white bits are gone. like a step monitor just like an app which I like count steps I did like 6,000 oh that's not much I'm doing six of them all <laughs> my it's like I got a friend and she's she does so much exercise at home I don't do nothing and she's always sending me videos do you watch this on YouTube? I am not play the last one. <laughs> I 
the last one she sent me. This is just egg whites, baby. You can't have these. Okay. They're not clouds. Even though they look like clouds. No, what's that then? These are egg whites. Egg whites. Yeah. So don't start licking the bowl as usual. Last one, and we're done. Not really. I wanted to make this, but I love you, cake as well. Always buy it. This was fun. Cake, mom. Yeah. And uh, I didn't buy it this year. I'm gonna make it. I bought it last year, and I made it. <laughs> That's how much I do. Then it's the tricky bit. Tricky bit, Mama. Yeah, it's very tricky. I'm a bit nervous. I've not done it for a while. <laughs> Last time I did it, and it came out, came out quite alright actually. But I'm just, I just get nervous every <laughs> time. So I think this is an easy done. I can still see a bit of white. So this is all air in here. That's why you don't want to mix it like that because it'll just knock all the air out that you just created. And I've got like 50 dishes to wash now. So now I'm just going to transfer this into the tin. Let's get the tin and do the washing pan. You can use any tray. This is what I had, and this one I'm gonna use. You, know, you don't need to go out there and buy a special Swiss roll tray. Nice you know, so little goes every Mom, that's not a spinach. Oh, this bowl is heavy as well. this out with a spatula. I mean not spatula. Yeah, spatula offset spatula. Let's use this one. 
Let's give it a nice. Okay. Nice, mom. Yes, it has to be level. I have it thick in one end and thin in the other. Make sure it's level and you get the corners. Hope it comes out right with the caster sugar. No, not the caster, the granulated sugar. Be fine. <coughs> nah, I think it's level. I'm just gonna give it a tap. Now this is gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes. Mama. I'll check it after 10. Ten if it's done, Mama. if it's done, then I'll take it. If, um, if it's not, I'll probably take another two minutes. But that's the most it needs because it's flat. It doesn't need that much time. So I'll see you guys when it's done. So the guy, uh, so so the guys, I mean guys, the, the cake is done. So I'm just gonna, I've just put this tea towel out. So I'm just gonna put it onto the tea towel while it's still hot. Let's get another tea towel. So now I'm just gonna take the I'm just gonna take this paper off slowly. So I'm just gonna fold the tea towel and then place it on top like that. And then I'm gonna do another fold. And another fold. Ah! I forgot one thing. It was very silly on me actually. I was supposed to dust this with wash. <laughs> I think sugar. I forgot one step. I forgot to. Just dusty on top, it doesn't matter. So, you know, when I take it off so it doesn't stick, so it's supposed to dusty. I'll just dusty as it goes on. But guys, when you make it, make sure you dust it. Don't be like me. <laughs> Forget steps. I'm just gonna dust it on top, so it's the same thing, so it doesn't stick to the tea towel. Make 
Wünsche, dass dir gut und trocken. Okay, now I'm gonna just turn it because I'm just going crazy with the rest of the <laughs> Silly me. Okay. I'm just gonna put that on top. So you just turn it. Turn it again. Then turn it again. Now I'm gonna leave this to cool completely. So it's probably gonna take an hour. <laughs> cool the reason why I'm doing the tea towel because when I open it again once it's cool and I'm gonna put a filling in it'll be easy to re-roll um, it's like it'll get it it'll spring back into form if you if you get one I don't know what I mean <laughs> you know like if you turn it if you put it if you put the tea towel in it'll go back the way it was in the tea towel <laughs> That's the best I can do in explanation. But I'm just gonna leave this for an hour now and let it cool completely. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So, guys, the cake is cooling down. It's gonna take an hour. It's been about 20 minutes and it feels cooler to the touch. So, I'm just gonna make the filling while it gets more cooler. <laughs> so, for the filling, you're gonna need 240 ml of double cream, which I got here. And you're gonna need 65 grams of icing sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. So, okay, so I'm just gonna pour in the icing. The, the, Cream. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Pinch of salt. I'm just gonna whisk this, and I'm just gonna sieve in the icing to the first. I'm gonna whisk this by hand because I'm gonna get the right consistency. Like if I do it with the beta, it might go too hard. Sometimes that happens really quick. So I'm just gonna use it. Well, I decided to use this one more for the kids. Oops. I think it's I think I just broke it. No, this bits come out. These are very flimsy. So many hamming issues with the sieve. So guys, I managed to sieve the icing and make a mess. So I'm just gonna whip this up. <laughs> whip this up. Mm. 
And then I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. And then I'm gonna make a ganache. A whipped ganache to go on top. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. <laughs> well, not in mine. <laughs> in all yours, tummy. You're in my tummy. You don't want to eat this? Mm. Top look. Look. Mm. You want a chocolate log? Yeah. When I made it last time, you were two. You were two. I don't know if you remember. You just turned two. Actually, I don't want it. Okay. You make me ill with that. Huh? Make me ill with that. Pardon? No. <laughs> what did you say? No. No, no. No, no, no. I like your nail polish. Very lovely. I can put that on you. Did you? Yeah. She does makeup and stuff. Even though her mother doesn't really wear really makeup. <laughs> Not that much. Who has time? And this is taking forever. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm just going to keep beating this till it's done. So guys, I've whipped this by hand. Don't ask. <laughs> and it's, this is the consistency I wanted. I don't want it too thick. So this seems like it's cooled down. So I'm going to try to unroll it. Smooth this out the way. Let's just have a look. If it's still warm, then you should just re-roll it back till it cools completely. See, and this is why you use icing sugar so it doesn't stick. Which I forgot. It's cold. So I'm just gonna put the cream on. And you just want you do wanna put I'm just gonna put some dark blobs here and there. I'm gonna put too much. And then just spread it. And try to re-roll it. So I'm just gonna do it lightly, like thin layers. Sticking to the tea towel a bit. I also need to add loads of icing sugar so it doesn't stick. Makes it more Make sure it's covered evenly everywhere. 
I'm starting to try to reload this. Here goes. So I'm just gonna turn the tea towel again and push it and try to do a tight roll and keep folding the tea towel. Can I feel the joy of being with you? Can I change the pain away for good? See, it's sticking to the tea towel because I didn't use that much. But this will get covered anyway. This will get covered, so it should be fine. So guys, I'm just going to transfer this onto another, um, onto this. I'm covering clean field, I'm putting the fridge for one hour. So guys, as the Swiss roll is in the fridge now for an hour, I'm just going to make the ganache that goes on top. So for this, you're going to need 200 grams of chocolate with 50% at least cocoa solids and uh, you're going to need butter 100 grams and you're going to need uh, double cream 100 grams but first I'm going to just melt this the chocolate and the butter in the microwave so guys I've melted the chocolate and the butter I'm using dark chocolate because that's what I had. So you can use any chocolate. Really. So I'm just gonna add the cream in. So the cream, <coughs> sorry, the cream is 100 grams. I'm just gonna mix this in. So I'm just gonna put this on the side and let it cool down itself. You can put it in the fridge if you're in rush, but I'm not in no rush because I've got a way out of the cake, Swiss roll, um, the Yule cake. So I'm just gonna leave this on the side to let it cool down. It probably take about 20 minutes. So guys, the chocolate's gone cold now, so I'm just gonna whip it up a bit. at the fridge and I just cut it at an angle this day and I added it there so it looks <laughs> it looks like a tree so and I whip the ganache give you a mix I'm just gonna put the ganache on top So I'm just going to spread this all over.
So I use a dark chocolate, you can use a dairy milk or something. Because I had dark at home, so I just used that. Let's do this bit. I'm just gonna put. Uh, actually, let me just cover this side. The cream's escaping. <laughs> and just lock this in. And I'm gonna do some with the fork. It's gonna do some lines. So it looks like a lock. It just look like a lot man. Have you wrote your list to get up for good? Hurry down the chimney tonight. I wait impatiently. You my Santa baby. I really do believe in you. So guys, I'm just gonna, it looks really good actually, I'm just gonna clean the plate top and uh, I'll be back in a minute. So guys, I just, <laughs> I just put some cranberries on and uh, three blackberries, so I'm just gonna put some icing to make it look a bit snowy. <laughs> I'm done. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. And I do hope you try this recipe. I'm sorry, this is all so late. I was meant to put it up a week ago. But this is a Christmas Yule log 
what I know about it is just that they put they used to burn a fire on New Year's Eve with the Yule log with the log so then the, I don't know when it turned to making cake but <laughs> the cake bits but obviously we can't really <laughs> put a fire on here in UK unless you've got the papa open fires which I have actually but can you imagine the smoke in the room no thanks anyway <laughs> guys thanks for watching and uh, if I don't see you have a happy new year and I hope next year is better for us as well but I think we might be going in lockdown here in Birmingham UK I'm not sure maybe I think the kids are gonna be off longer than I expected and uh, anyway guys I hope you have a nice Christmas and a nice new year <clears throat> and I'll hopefully see you in the new year if I don't I'll see you before <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon and take care um, bye. 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 Bye.